name is Shamini. I'm Miss Poirier. I teach library and AE at Ferdivar and two library classes at Tawanka. Hi, I'm Miss Douglas. I teach sixth and seventh grade social studies at both Sandberg and Bequessing. And we're roommates, so we thought we would try the STEM challenge. Last year, my AE students actually built bridges. They researched different types and they built them out of toothpicks and marshmallows. And then this year, they actually had to build cardboard bridges that were strong enough for Dash the robot to drive across. Ooh. So we were actually cleaning out our basement this weekend and we were building shelves and we found lots of supplies we thought we could use. So we thought we'd show them to you. So we have these two chairs at our breakfast bar. So we thought that this would be the edges of our bridge. We could tie strings to the posts here for our suspension. And then this is the box that our shelves came in. And we thought that the cardboard would be great for actually building the base of the bridge to go across the chairs. And then these are some of the other supplies we're going to use. We have some weights that we can use to be anchors on the edges of the bridge. We have these two wooden dowels that we found in our basement, which are pretty strong. So we will use those in some way. We've got some tape, some twine, some different cutting tools, and we have this adorable little chick who will hop across our bridge. So we thought we would use the dowel rods as support underneath the cardboard to make it stronger, but then we were thinking we could improve it and make it even stronger. So this is Teddy, he's our roommate's cat, and he was getting pretty interested in what we were doing, particularly in the string, and we thought he might want to try to cross the bridge, but we don't think it's quite strong enough for him yet. So we were thinking about how triangles are the strongest shape, so we're going to use our string to create some triangles between the dowel rods to make it stronger for the cardboard. ended up not using the weights to anchor our bridge. The dowel rods and the string actually ended up being a great anchor. Our first goal was to see if the chick could walk across it. We figure this is roughly the weight of a toy car and we don't have a toy car. So we're going to test that. It doesn't like to walk straight, but we'll at least be able to see if it can hold it. So it held the chick just fine and we thought maybe it was even stronger than that. So we grabbed some cans of soup to see if it can hold that. It did. So our next goal is to see if it would hold our roommate's cat, but we don't want to put him on it if it's not going to be safe. So I have a five pound weight here. We're going to start with this, see if it holds it, and then we'll go from there. It's bowing a little bit, but it's holding. So we think he's 14 pounds. So I have a 10 pound weight and I'm going to add that to the five pound weight and see if it holds it. It's doing it, so I think we have to test the cat now. So, we're ready to see if Teddy can cross the bridge. I have some of his favorite treats in my hand because he's not always the most cooperative. So let's see what we can do. You ready? Oh, we made a bridge for you. Here we go. All right, he's standing on it. Come here, come here. Teddy, look, here's a treat. It's holding on. <gasps> Keep coming, Ted. Oh, one more. One more. All the way across, you can do it. So we know it can hold Teddy and roughly 15 pounds. So now we just wanna see how much it can hold. So I have two 10 pound weights and two five pound weights and I'm just gonna keep adding and see what happens. So I'm gonna do the two 10 pound weights to make 20 pounds, but I'm gonna distribute them evenly so it doesn't collapse. Okay, so I'm gonna add five pounds at a time and see what happens. Five more pounds. So we know it can hold at least 30 pounds, which we think is pretty cool. Thank you, Nishamani. This challenge was so much fun. We really wanna encourage all of the students 
but especially our students to try the challenge at home and see if they can beat our record of 30 pounds. Bye.